Okay, in this segment, uh, we want to talk about secondary water supply. And uh, in our response policy, we generally think about that's going to be that third engine, right? So uh, let's just discuss some uh, considerations that have to occur. So we know uh, that in our response order, right, that the third and the fourth engine are expected to work together to get a secondary water supply. And just what does that mean? Well, basically the purpose of the secondary water supply is really twofold. One is uh, in case for some reason there's a problem with the first, whatever was picked out, and we've spoken a little bit about some trouble that could occur, but also number two is on large buildings, uh, we may need a secondary water supply to support the fire attack, meaning more flow, uh, the ability to get more hand lines, uh, whatever, off of a particular pumper. So if we look at this arrangement here, right, the first and second engine are working together and the first special service is in front and the third engine has yet to arrive. So that company officer, the unit officer on that piece needs to be thinking about, uh, number one, listening up to, hey, what hydrant did they take? So what hydrant is already being used? I need to think about taking a different hydrant. So let's talk about that. Different hydrant can mean a couple things. A different hydrant on the same street. So while that might be convenient, uh, that could actually be problematic, right? If this is a residential street, let's just say with single family dwellings in our outer periphery, take the Clarksburg, uh, Germantown, Damascus area, then I may be operating on a six inch water main and taking a secondary hydrant on adjacent, in other words, just taking the next hydrant may actually rob water from the first engine. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to do it every time, but on a large fire, you know, potentially that could happen. Um, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say don't ever think about that, don't ever not take that hydrant, but at least that's in a consideration. Big fire, think about, I got to be careful about robbing water from that first engine. Traditionally, we think of the secondary water supply as the rear of the building. So on everything but residential, <clears throat> meaning standalone single families, right? We're thinking about getting to the rear, whether it's a downtown area, whether it's a townhouse, whether it's a guard apartment, whether it's a, a shopping center, school, whatever. Generally thinking about, can I get a rig to the rear so that we have protection in the rear, lines to the rear, whatever. So that needs to be uh, another thought process that goes through uh, that company officer's uh, mind as they're making the decision. And of course, part of that also deals with uh, anticipating the direction of travel of that first. So those folks who work in our congested areas, right, the down county inside the Beltway area, running direction and running order is pretty important. We know our truck drivers do a really good job of identifying who's coming in which way. Engine companies need to do the same thing. It may very well mean that all three engines came this way, but because of the hose layout, the third engine knows that they got to go around the block and take a different hydrant on a different street, maybe to, to support that operation as a secondary water supply. And of course, whatever the third engine does, that has to be communicated to the fourth engine because it's their job to work together to develop that secondary water supply. So both operations are equally as important. We can't fight the fire effectively without any uh, reliable water supply. So those four units, the first two engines and the third and fourth, got to work together to get these water supplies uh, set up and established. So next we're going to look at uh, what do we do with water supply on external alarms.